Be sure to download Finch Rewards onto your mobile device so that you can earn free gift cards to places like Starbucks, Ulta Beauty, and more of your favorite places. All you have to do is scan any receipt to earn points, and you can earn bonus points by scanning receipts with these specific brands on there. Just like here, you can get up to 2,000 points by scanning a receipt that has dog food on it, and you can also earn 500 points by scanning a receipt that has a Sargento brand on it. That is it, and that is all, you guys. When you sign up using my sign up link, you will earn a bonus point. Link will be down below in the description box. Wondering if it is forever, or is there some place that'll make her feel better? Make her feel better. And that's where she'll go. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Keisha Michelle. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys what I am feeding my large family of seven for an entire month. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, and without further ado, let's get right into this video. So as I said before, I am a stay-at-home mom of five little ones, I also homeschool them. So they do not go to daycare, they are constantly home with me, so I am 100% responsible for every single thing that my children eat in a day. With that being said, last year we spent a ton of money eating out, and this year we really wanted to put our foot down and like really like go hard and not eat out so much. So for the month of January, we are actually doing like a no spend challenge. Instead of eating out all the time, we intentionally eat at home. So what I decided to do for the month of January, which may actually end up turning into like our regular actual like way of doing things just to save money. I actually made a meal plan in a meal planner. So in this, hold on one second. So I wrote down every single meal that we're gonna have for every single day in the month of January. So for each day I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I actually did not write down what we had for the first day of the uh, year, for the first day of the month. And honestly you guys, I do not remember. And if I, if I remember as I'm like editing, I will be sure to insert it into like somewhere on the screen. So, for the second day of January, we had toast and cheese with fruit for the second day of January. That is actually the day that I went grocery shopping. So we were kinda trying to like finish up like the bread and the cheese that we had left over for that day before we restocked our pantry in our refrigerator. For lunch, we had turkey sandwiches, turkey and cheese sandwiches. For dinner, we actually had spaghetti, garlic bread, green beans, and corn. That's what we had for dinner. Moving on to Monday, we had waffles and sausage for breakfast. For lunch, we had macaroni and cheese and nuggets with fruit. For dinner that day, we had leftovers. For the 4th of January, we had oatmeal and fruit for breakfast. And for lunch, the kids had sandwiches and chips. And for dinner, we had chicken legs, vegetables, and mashed potatoes. The fifth day of January, we had bagels and bacon. And for lunch, we had leftovers, which were chicken legs, mashed potatoes, and veggies. For dinner, we had chicken and rice with green beans, which that meal was super simple. That is a crock pot recipe. I will be sure, like if I have like videos of how to make some of these meals, I will be sure to link recipe or the video if I have one somewhere on the screen or somewhere in the description box. You guys, just an FYI, I do have children with egg and peanut allergy. So if you guys are wondering why our why our breakfasts are so like basic, it's because they can't eat certain things. So there will be no PB and J, there will be no scrambled eggs, there will be nothing along those lines. So on Thursday we had oatmeal and fruit for breakfast, macaroni and cheese and nuggets with oranges 
for lunch and then for dinner we had leftovers which was the crock pot chicken and rice with green beans now <clears throat> before i continue i want you guys to understand that there are quite a bit of repeats on my monthly meal plan i did that because i just kind of wanted to simplify this as much as possible because y'all know trying to make a, a plan for an entire week is hard yet alone an entire month so i really just tried to simplify as much as possible so for the seventh day of january we had bagels bagels and bacon once again bagels and bacon no actually this says bagels and bacon but they actually had the sausage corn dogs with the pancake wrapped in pancakes they had those for breakfast and for lunch they had sandwiches for dinner we had pizza and wings and again i will be sure to link the recipe for the wings um, because we do have a video of those wings you guys and they are so good we have one for lemon pepper wings and we also have one for chinese copycat wings i will be sure to leave those videos somewhere on the screen or down below in the description box okay so then on saturday which was yesterday a fruit parfait with granola fruit and yogurt and they also had some bacon for lunch we did sandwiches the kids did sandwiches and did the kids do sandwiches yesterday for lunch? They actually did leftovers from the pizza and wings from the night before. Me and Louis actually had lamb chops with rice. No, we had lamb chops with fettuccine alfredo. And um, yeah, we didn't make any vegetables with that. So for dinner, we actually ended up doing cheeseburgers and fries with carrots. We use the um, Angus beef char char grilled um, burgers that are already cooked, fully cooked. We got them from Sam's, but they also have them at Costco. Y'all, those burgers were so good. It was our first time trying those. So today for breakfast, we actually on here, again, it says bagels and fruit, but we actually ended up doing sausage biscuits for breakfast for lunch we did spicy chicken sandwiches which they actually really enjoyed them and again we use a fro it is a frozen like it's in my grocery haul it was the frozen spicy chicken breast you can get them from sam's club it's the members mark you guys they were so good like you know how some of those chicken patties you can bite into it and it'll be like real gristly and like it'll have mu chicken muscles and stuff i cannot stand chicken that is like that so i was really really impressed with how good and how real this the chicken breast patties tasted um so i would highly recommend those and for dinner tonight, we are actually gonna be eating Italian chicken with vegetables. And we're either gonna do mashed potatoes or I'm gonna do some roasted chicken beans ready-made rice. For breakfast tomorrow, we're gonna do oatmeal with fruit. And for lunch, the kids are gonna have sliders with fruit. For dinner, we're gonna have leftovers, which is the Italian chicken with the vegetables and the rice or mashed potatoes. For breakfast on the 11th of January, we're gonna have waffles with some type of protein. It'll either be sausage or bacon. And for lunch, the kids will have mac and cheese with fruit. And for dinner on Tuesday, January 11th, we're gonna do nachos. So we're gonna have the meat, the lettuce, the tomatoes, the sour cream, the chips, and all of that. On the 12th, we are going to do more oatmeal because I brought a ton of oatmeal with this grocery haul this um, this month, you guys. And we're going to eat it because, I mean, I feel like oatmeal is more so on the healthier side. So, I'm okay with them having oatmeal. They enjoy eating the oatmeal, so I'm okay with that. Sliders and fruit for lunch. For dinner, we're actually going to be trying a new recipe, which is the Tuscan chicken with mashed potatoes and broccoli. Now, I've made Tuscan salmon. I'll be sure to leave that video somewhere over here on the screen or in the description box. 
I made Tuscan salmon. I absolutely love it. It is so delicious. So I'm really excited to see what it's gonna taste like with chicken. So never done that before. The next day, which is January 13th, the kids are gonna have waffles with protein. It'll be uh, bacon or sausage, one or the other. And for lunch, macaroni and cheese with fruit. And for dinner, we will have leftovers for dinner. For the 14th, which is a Friday, we are gonna have oatmeal for breakfast. And of course, with some type of fruit on the side. And for lunch, we're gonna have more sliders with fruit. And for dinner, we're gonna have pizza and wings. This week, we'll probably try a different flavor. Last week, it, Last week we did the Chinese style chicken wings. Um, this week we'll probably do like lemon pepper or buffalo. Keep in mind, Friday Fridays are usually for like pizza and wings. I try to choose like a weekendy type of um, meal, but stay tuned because this meal for this week weekend is actually something very different, and it's probably gonna have you like. What? I don't even know if the kids are going to really eat it, to be completely honest with you. So we're going to see. So we're going to see. And actually, you guys, I did not tell you guys this. So with the pizza, of course, there are plenty of options. We actually ended up getting our pizza from Walmart in the deli section. We didn't get a frozen pizza, but the ones in the deli section are like way bigger. And also, um, you can also get pizzas from like Sam's Club. They have really large size pizzas, like if you have a big family. So we ended up getting two of the pizzas from the deli section from Walmart, and they are very cost effective. On the next day, we are going to do waffles and sausage with fruit, maybe a fruit parfait. And for lunch, we are gonna do chicken sandwiches. What is today? Oh yeah, so yeah, next week, well this upcoming weekend, we're gonna do the spicy chicken sandwiches for lunch again, they were a hit. And also for dinner, we are going to do something different once again. I don't know how my family is gonna to react to this, I have no clue. But we are gonna do a cauliflower soup. It's gonna be like a cheesy, cauliflower soup and we're gonna try it out we're gonna see how we like it I don't know fingers crossed y'all say y'all say a quick prayer for me my family don't have a, a hard time telling me how they feel about my cooking okay so if it's nasty they gonna let me know each and every one Logan even Logan is saying I don't want this so Sunday the 16th we're gonna do oatmeal for breakfast macaroni and cheese for lunch and for Dinner, I'm gonna do like a chicken and vegetable bake. So it's gonna have like peppers, it's gonna be like chopped up chicken with peppers and onions and broccoli, squash, like all of those different vegetables. I'm trying to like really incorporate those fresh vegetables. And I'm gonna choose some type of like carb, like rice or mashed potatoes or maybe like a sweet potato or something like that. So, figured that that would be very good. Um, on the 17th, we're gonna do bagels for breakfast, and for lunch, we're gonna do hot dogs. My kids love hot dogs, so we do like hot dogs and chips or something like that. And for dinner, we are gonna do some leftovers. So that we'll have the chicken and vegetable bake. For the 18th of January, we're gonna do more oatmeal. Yay, more oatmeal. Are y'all tired of oatmeal yet? <laughs> there are many ways that you can spruce up oatmeal. You can do different flavors. You can do different fruits and you can add yogurt and all of that good stuff. My kids genuinely could eat oatmeal every single day, but I try to switch it up for them. For lunch, they're gonna have more sandwiches. And for dinner, we're gonna do some tacos with um, corn and some chips. So Wednesday, January 19th, more waffles and sausage. When I say I have a ton of waffles in that freezer, we have a ton of waffles. We're gonna need to eat them up, okay? So I'm gonna have waffles and sausage or waffles and bacon for breakfast. And for lunch, we're gonna have more mac macaroni and cheese and oranges. 
and along with the nuggets. So they have macaroni and cheese, nuggets, and oranges. And for dinner this day, I decided that we could do some sandwiches. Um, I'm all about having like super easy like dinners, and I figured that you know what could be e what could be easier than making sandwiches for dinner. So I figured that since it is sandwiches for dinner, I'm going to look on like Pinterest or YouTube and try to find like a, a different type of sandwich. It could be like steak and cheese sandwiches. It could be like barbecue sandwiches, like different sandwiches like that. When this week comes, I'm going to find a like special lot, like a specialty type sandwich and we'll go from there. Okay, so for the 20th of January, I have more bagels, yay! Or they may, we may do like, um, we may do like the little more of the sausage and pancake dogs. Um, we may do those, whatever, whatever the kids, I'm, I may make, let them select what they want for that day, and we'll go from there. For lunch, we're gonna do hot dogs and chips, or hot dogs and fries. And here is another different dinner, you guys. Y'all are gonna be like, what the F, okay? It is, okay, are y'all ready for this? This is a meal that I seen on somebody's video on YouTube. And I was like, ooh, this looks kind of, um, this looks different, okay? Y'all have to excuse me, I sound congested because I really am, like, why am I so congested, you guys? I don't know. But anyways, <clears throat> so for dinner this day, we are going to do, drum roll please, brrr, we are going to do sweet potato buffalo chicken. What? I don't even know, I don't know. But I'm gonna try it out, okay? Because I was like, ooh, it's different, so let's do it. Let's try it out. So. We're gonna try that out. And then Friday the 21st, January the 21st, we are going to be doing more oatmeal or maybe bagels or maybe waffles. We'll see, we have options for breakfast. And for lunch, we're gonna do some sandwiches. When I say that I'm simplifying this, I'm not even like trying to put too much thought into what they eat for lunch. That's what I mean. We're gonna have repeats, okay? We, as y'all can see, we've had a lot of repeats in here. So, yeah. And for, this is actually the last week during the month that we have pizza and wings. So we're gonna do pizza and wings again. And the wings that I have been using are actually the wings, the party wings from Costco, which I feel is appropriate to go with our pizza and wings dinners. Cause they come with a lot. They're pizza and wings, they usually come with a lot. So that's why I got so many packs so that I can ensure that we have enough for everybody. Breakfast on the 22nd. We're gonna do sausage, biscuits, and mac and cheese for lunch. And for dinner that day, we're gonna do like some at home Chipotle which is really good. I made it one time before, or maybe two times before, and it's so much better than actually going to Chipotle. So for the 23rd, uh, we are gonna do fruit parfaits for breakfast, and for lunch, we're gonna do sliders and macaroni and cheese, along with a Mississippi pot roast for dinner. I will be sure to leave that recipe um, I do have a video of that on my cooking channel. If you did, if you guys did not know, I do have a cooking channel on here that I recently created. I'm trying to uh, really come up with like a regimen of posting on that channel on a regular basis. Go check that channel out, you guys. We're we'll going to the 24th of January. We wrap it up. We'll get close to the end of the month. We are having, you guessed it more oatmeal, macaroni and cheese and fruit for lunch with um, some type of vegetable like carrots or celery, whatever they select. Dinner for the 24th, we are going to do leftovers. For the 25th, they're doing bagels for breakfast and sliders 
for lunch, sliders for lunch, and cauliflower soup for dinner. And that is if and only if the cauliflower soup is a success, if it is a hit. I personally feel like they're not gonna like it because I don't really make, I don't really make a ton of soups for my family. And yeah, so we're gonna see. Like I said, we're gonna see. I recently made chili beans and my kids really seem to have liked them when I made them, so that's a good thing. On the 26th, we're doing oatmeal for breakfast and uh, sandwiches for lunch and leftovers for dinner. On the 27th, we're doing waffles for breakfast, spiders for lunch, and for dinner, we're doing spaghetti, green beans, and corn with garlic bread, of course. On the 28th, we are going to do bagels, macaroni and cheese with nuggets and oranges. And for dinner, this is a Friday, we're gonna do hot dogs and fries. And that's hot dogs with all the fixings, the chili, the onions, all of that, all that good stuff. For the 29th, we are going to do fruit parfaits for breakfast, um, sandwiches for lunch, cheeseburgers for dinner, and on the 30th, we're doing oatmeal for breakfast and corn dogs and macaroni and cheese for lunch, meatloaf, peas, and mashed potatoes for dinner. And on the 31st, we are going to do yogurt and fruit, nuggets and fries for lunch, and creamy chicken legs. That's like with the cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna do creamy chicken legs with rice and vegetables. That is all you guys. So I just gave you guys my entire meal plan for the month of January. Like I said, this is like our first official month, like really going at it. I really have everything here that I need to make every single thing. What I'm planning on doing after this month is over, I'm gonna let you guys know how everything went and I'm gonna let you guys know how many times I had to go back to the store to get and what what else I had to go back to the store and get and all that stuff so after I created my little meal plan I um sat down and I made a grocery list and I looked at my meal plan and I looked at the meal and I looked throughout the month to see how many times I'm going to have that particular meal to help me determine how much of each item I need to get. As you heard, I'm gonna have waffles quite a bit throughout this month, so I need to make sure that I have enough waffles. Bagels, so with the bagels and like the bread and all of that stuff, my plan is to go like every week, every other week, because right now we do not have enough space to freeze the bread in the freezer. Uh, because we do have <clears throat> quite a bit of meat in the freezer. So until we get our deep freezer, um, we will have to go back to the store for bread items as needed. And also as far as the fresh fruit, the fresh vegetables and all of that stuff, that is to be expected. Going back to the store is to, is to be expected because I don't expect fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, and all of that stuff to last throughout the entire month. Like I said, I just made a grocery list and I went shopping for all of these items accordingly. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down below in the comment section and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on your post notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey Logan, say hey. hey. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. You wanna say? Hey. All of the kids just piled up in here. Well, not all of them, but are y'all done playing with the play-doh? Yep. Okay. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Find your best. We never needed their permission to believe in ourselves. So come with me. We could spend the week and do it everything they said we never